The Oregon Shakespeare Festival is desperately looking for donations as it looks to save its 2023 season, which begins just next week. In order to mount the high quality shows that we want to, we need an infusion of money now. And we really hope people come through because it's going to be a great season. The company is calling it an emergency fundraising campaign titled The Show Must Go On, Save Our Season, Save OSF. Its goal to raise two and a half million dollars to prevent the season's closure and layoffs. OSF says it specifically needs the donations to fill a gap in funding between May and July, but it must raise at least one and a half million by June. We will need an infusion of one and a half million by June to sustain us further because we certainly don't want to not pay people who, who deserve to be paid. OSF board chair Diane Yu says the pandemic hit the nonprofit hard. At the height of it, mixed with the devastating Almeda fire, OSF was forced to cancel hundreds of shows, laying off staff. But OSF has already received millions the past few years, including 10 million bucks being distributed at $2 million a year for the next five years from the foundation of one of its board members, David Hitz. The Mellon Foundation has also given $2 million and OSF says it secured $5 million in individual pledges. This in addition to a $10 million federal grant in 2021. All of our expense lines have risen, but it's very hard to imagine that a large theater operation like ours could function less than 30, 35 million. And you're right that the 2018, 2019 period, it was in the 42 to $44 million range. Last year, OSF asked for more financial help, receiving $7.3 million from its $40 million endowment fund. That's the most ever given from the endowment to the nonprofit in one year, according to Endowment Board of Trustees Chairman Paul Christie. The former OSF interim executive director says typically the fund provides $1.3 million to the festival every year. But since last year, the fund has decreased significantly due to the stock market volatility and the donation to OSF. Christie says the rest of the money available is restricted, meaning those who donated put specific limits on what it can be used for. The remaining $27 million of gifts that we have are all restricted for purposes that cannot be easily released. So we've we've uh, given all the funds that we have available to the festival, and it might take some time, including years, for us to unrestrict the rest of that amount. For decades, OSF has become a huge economic driver for the city of Ashland and the Rogue Valley at large. Newman Hotel Group, which owns popular hotels like the Ashland Springs Hotel, says they began to change their marketing strategy prior to the pandemic to rely less on OSF. Theater and culture is an important part of, you know, Ashland. All of the reasons why someone comes to Ashland is different. And so we continue to, you know, diversify our guests. But Newman Chief Operating Officer Don Anway says OSF's importance to the community is still strong. It's an important part of the, the community. It's not going to be easy. Having OSF makes our job easier uh, because they do attract uh, thousands of people. Uh, but there's other people that we can attract. OSF's been busy in the last six months or so. It's chopped ticket prices in 2023, and then in January, it cut jobs, and Executive Director David Schmitz resigned amid restructuring. Artistic Director Nataki Garrett then became Interim Executive Director, but three months later, OSF says she's focusing on her original position. The board's Executive Committee will temporarily fill the duties of Interim Executive Director, but OSF still hasn't closed the financial gap. In our heyday, it was about a 50-50 split between ticket sale revenue and other revenue. Now it's closer to 80% outside income, contributed income, foundations, grants, government support, and 20% coming in from ticket sales. OSF hopes to weather the storm in order to survive for many more years to come.